So I thought I'd give you a tour of my backyard roll-off roof observatory. I previously made a video on the building of it and just a quick snippet of how it was all put together and thought I'd give you a little more in-depth tour and guide around and show you what I did differently. The, um, the observatory is based on a sky shed, sky shed plans. I did make some modifications, but um, for the most part, it follows their plans exactly. It is an 8 by 10 building. The, um, my backyard level backyard is not level, therefore I had to build the uh, building on piers. So the, um, each corner and two in the middle are on these concrete bolsters and then under each of those uh, there is a concrete pier that goes down um, about two feet in the ground so it's actually sitting on concrete and then on top of that uh, so that gives it gives me the ability to level things out a little bit better uh, metal roof uh, made it white so it reflects the heat a little bit better um, Coming around uh, on the roll-off rails here, I have a security camera. Uh, on the corner here, I do have a um, weather station so that I can keep track of, of outdoor conditions for the building and for my area. I have an all-sky camera on the other corner. Um, this is uh, gives me the ability to keep watch on cloud cover and so forth. The uh, Piers here, uh, the jacks are adjustable so that I can raise and lower as ground settles or as things change over time. Uh, I got these from Amazon, they're, they're really nice. Uh, got roof vents. Um, the rails, uh, the roof rolls on garage door rails for the sky shed uh, system uh, seems to work very well. Haven't had any issues with those whatsoever. As we come around the back here, uh, you can see uh, where the, the roof is not, uh, the floor is not level, or the ground is not level. Uh, everything's trimmed out in red cedar. I figured that would um, age pretty well. Uh, there's the center pier. There's one on each side there, as well as the four corners, as I said before. Uh, the outside is just uh, T111, uh, and then I painted that. Metal roof, ridge cap across the top. Come around. Uh, there is a handle there for manually closing the door, uh, but as you as we get inside, you'll see that I have added uh, a motor to that, so I don't really use the, the handles to manually open and close the door anymore. Um, underneath, uh, you've got two conduits coming up: one for electrical and one for Cat6 Ethernet. So I've got hardwired ethernet and electricity into the building uh, that runs underground and is fed from my shop over here. Um, and then the shop is obviously fed from the house. So I've got network everywhere. On the inside, um, some batten off masks. As we come around to the side here, uh, you will see my uh, gate motor. Uh, got this idea from Glenn over in Astro Bloke and Joe uh, from Joe's Astro Photo. Uh, same, very same concept. Uh, works fantastically. Uh, I do not have it rolling all the way off because that requires cutting a hole in the end of the building for the rails. Um, and you'll see that doesn't really pertain, make much difference for me anyway. Using the same Wi Fi connector there that uh, Glenn does that allows me to remotely open and close the, uh, the roof. Got a wise cam there to keep an eye on the uh, telescope when things are running. Uh, electricity obviously. As we come around the side here I do have a light. Uh, that's an LED smart bulb um, and it stays on red when I do turn it on. Uh, garage door rollers there and the track for the, uh, for the gate motor. Uh, currently taking some flats so flat set up here. We'll go over some of the equipment here a little later. Uh, the pier, uh, concrete pier, uh, there's a cubic yard of concrete underground and then that's all tied together with the pier that comes up. Um, and it, uh, 
comes up through the floor. Um, the floor is isolated from the pier, so it does not pick up any vibrations whatsoever there. Um, plate steel that I got from eBay uh, that I used to make the, the cage there, and then my EQ6R Pro mount uh, sits on top. Down underneath over here, um, you can see I've got a uh, Wi-Fi router, uh, monitor keyboard, um, mouse there. Uh, there's a switch underneath here that's hardwired, and this also gives me Wi-Fi. This is a mesh router uh, from Asus. Uh, wonderful product. I really like it. It gives me um, Wi-Fi throughout my house and around the area here. You see the network connections there uh, that's feeding from the shop in and out to the router and then the other one goes down underneath uh, to the pier here. Uh, if we look down, uh, I've got a Minix mini PC uh, with a terabyte SSD drive in that runs all of my software. I use Nina, PhD and so forth. Um, power coming up, uh, power block there, there's the ethernet coming up through uh, under the building. I use Anderson power poles to distribute power to different things. There's also a, a smart plug there that I can power up the entire pier and off remotely. Uh, monitor here, um, this is just a remote desktop session into the, uh, the Minix computer. If we look around behind, uh, see if we can get a shot back here. Uh, I've got a Raspberry Pi and that allows me to remote desktop into the mini PC without having to run HDMI cables under the floor and, and USB cables for keyboard and mouse and so forth. Uh, just works really well. Um, got uh, towels hanging up here. I drape a towel over the monitor and over the keyboard when the roof is open at night just to keep dew off of the electronics when it's not in use. Uh, that works out really well for me. Around, I do have hard uh, tie downs for the roof. There are two of those. I don't normally use them, but in case of high winds or thunderstorm season, I can block the roof down. Um, there's the garage rails on the other side. And over here above the window uh, is also a hardwired push button that will allow me to open and close the roof uh, from within without using the, the remote setup if I want. I mentioned that the roof doesn't roll off all the way. Um, one of the things, the reason for that is, is over to the west here, I have a tree line. So the roof being eight to 10 inches from rolling all the way really does not block anything uh, because the trees would block it anyway. So this really is not an issue. Uh, my current setup uh, right now, I've got an AstroTech AT130 EDT uh, refractor, a really nice scope do heaters there, do heater bands, a uh, guide with a uh, William Optics uh, Evo Guide 50. Um, the guide camera is a ZWO uh, 290mm Mini. Got the uh, Pegasus Astro uh, Pocket Power Box Advanced, so that controls my do heater and distributes power and has a USB hub. CWO electronic focuser. Uh, down in the image train is a Hotec uh, field flattener. You've got the Pegasus Astro uh, Falcon rotator, which is really nice. Uh, ZWO filter wheel. Um, in the filter wheel, I've got uh, Bader uh, LRGB filters and an Antlia uh, 3 nanometer narrow band. And my current camera is uh, ZWO 294mm Pro really, really nice camera, very fast, uh, gives me a good image. One of the things that I, changes that I made to the uh, sky shed plan was all of the wall studs are on 16 inch centers. Um, their plans did not call for that, but I thought it made a much sturdier building. Uh, all in all, uh, love the observatory. If you have the ability and the means to do so, I highly recommend it. It changes the way you image. Um, if you've just got an hour or two of uh, clear skies uh, before, uh, you would debate on whether or not it was worth setting up and tearing down just for a few minutes of, of imaging. Now it's not an issue. I can open up, be imaging within minutes, uh, clouds roll in, 
you can shut down and close up and not have to worry about it. Uh, it really changes the way everything, uh, the way you approach everything. Anybody has any questions or anything, let me know in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them any way I can. Thank you very much for watching.